Dave. Welcome to Farnham Manor. Hey, how you guys doing? Great. Good. So glad you could stop by. Me too. Thanks for having me. Oh, you're welcome. The place was built in 1834 by Everett Farnham, one of the very first settlers here in the area, and we're standing in one of the original parlors. The fireplace here is the original marble. Uh, there's an 1800 organ, 1800 furniture, just to give you a feeling of stepping back in time as you come into the place. The Farnham's all lie today down at the cemetery uh, that is just right down the road. Um, we have an India marker tree that is st still standing from over 200 years ago out in the yard. Uh, the Indian marker trees were placed on sacred ground, which makes us think that this place was special even before the house was built. It was built, uh, the story of the Farnham's goes back to uh, 1812, when John Farnham, who had served in the Revolutionary War, brought his family here from Connecticut. There was nine kids. They traveled by uh, wagon train, and when they arrived here, it was Native American territory. territory. So they um, built a hut to protect themselves from the Indians, and then a more elaborate home later. And it was John Farnham's son, Everett, who built this house for his bride in 1834. This is the main foyer of the 1834 house. We were told Farnham had to build this staircase first and then build the walls around it because these stairs are made out of one solid piece of wood. Farnham had the sawmills down on the river so he could make his, uh, his house as big as he wanted. It did take him like seven years to build the place. But uh, when he built the staircase, he cut the steps out of one big log rather than putting boards together, so they're solid as a rock even today. And he had the blue cobalt glass around his entrance here because he felt that that was therapeutic. So the blue cobalt that's uh, still here is very symbolic of his thoughts. He lived to be 84 years old, which was pretty old back then, and maybe there was something to that blue cobalt glass. Here's a portrait of Everett and Emily Farnham, the first inhabitors. Everett was 40 and Emily was 18 when they got married and they raised five children here. This room was added in the 1800s, we could tell uh, by the construction method. If, in the early 1800s when Farnham first built the house, they didn't have indoor kitchens. They always had an outbuilding where they did all the cooking. Then later in the century, it became popular to have indoor kitchens, so Everett built Emily a kitchen, and this would have been their kitchen at that time. This is a 1700 butcher table from England. The Farnhams were originally from England, so we have this here to symbolize their English roots. There's a lot of spirit and beauty attached to this. All of the windows in the house have the original wavy glass. There was restoration done to the house in the late 1980s, early 1990s, where all of the windows were rebuilt with the um, original wavy glass. This is the original 1834 bedroom, originally just two parlors down and two bedrooms up. We have this as Emily's room. Uh, a lot of old toys have gathered, and um, we just have this uh, as a memorial to little Emily. A lot of crazy things happen in here um, with the rocking horses rocking and the dolls moving. The train moves. And here we have the original 1834 bedroom. This is the room where Everett Farnham died. He took one last carriage ride around his 3,200 acre estate, came home and laid down and said, my clock has run out, and he died at the age of 84. This room is also the room where the owner of the restaurant, Mr. Kirk, died. Um, when, during the restaurant era, which was 1948 to 1972, 
The Kirks had the business downstairs and they lived upstairs and this was used as their living room. Mr. Kirk, from smoking all those cigars, developed something with his lungs and so they had brought a hospital bed in this room with his oxygen tent and everything so that he could watch TV and he passed in this room. We also uh, encounter the lady in white quite often in this room. Uh, her name is Marilyn and she worked here during the Roaring Twenties when this was an elegant club. Here's a portrait of the lady in white that we encounter quite often. We've had many reports of a lady in a white dress pacing back on and forth on the balcony which is out there. Originally there were French doors to where you could walk out onto the balcony. Um, we found out her name is Mary Lynn and she worked here as a housekeeper when this was the brothel and that was during the Roaring Twenties. And uh, uh, the story goes that she fell in love with one of the aristocrats that came here on a regular basis. And he promised he was coming back to marry her, but he never came. So her soul is still here waiting for her lover to return. We've caught um, many times out on the balcony the lady in white as an orb figure. Um, we had a paranormal investigation here where they were doing an EVP session with her. And they asked the question, Marilyn, did you feel scorned when your lover never came for you? And just as they asked that question, this bed came crashing down. The screws holding the frame on are this long, and she was able to just totally crash it down, um, I think, in response to their question. We're standing up above the dining room now. This is a uh, a room that was probably added as the Farnham family grew for more sleeping space for the children. Then during the Roaring Twenties when it was the brothel, this was divided up into many, many small rooms. It was a hallway with a lot of small rooms off, off the corridor. That's uh, where the ladies would bring them in. Today it's just filled. There's a lot of energy. Um, people have walked into this room and just started crying for no reason. Uh, there has been shadows seen here quite often. Um, there's noises. Uh, one, one time, uh, well it happened for like a month straight, anytime we would walk into this room there would be a tapping on the window, sort of like a branch hitting up against the glass, except that there's no trees out there. So we couldn't debunk it, we couldn't figure out what it was, and, and it hasn't happened now for a while, but for a good long time, there was always a ticking noise up in this room. We have the back staircase. The back staircase leads down to this beautiful kitchen, which was added in the 1920s. Um, this is the area where the cistern was, where little Emily drowned. Back in the 1800s, that wall was the back of the house, and this was the backyard, and the well was right here. Um, during renovations, this floor had been pulled up, and each of the rocks of the well are still underneath the floor. We'd like to give you a feeling of stepping back in time when you come to Farnham Manor. We have an 1800 stove, which is quite an elaborate model. It has a thermostat, and it runs on wood or coal, six burners, and bread warmers up there. And the sink is very unusual. It's made out of nickel. It has the symbol for the, the Native American symbol for the Crooked River. Cuyahoga means crooked, and this is the symbol for the Crooked River. Each one of the rocks for the fireplace came from the Farnham land. There is an interesting story with the fireplace. The fireplace, we, we learned, was put in during the renovations when the Zaruba family was um, working on the house. And Susan Zaruba had leafed through a magazine and saw a picture of this fireplace and she said that's what I want to build. So it was built um, during the renovations, not until 1989. Later on she was leafing through the same magazine and she saw where she had cut out the picture 
and she was looking at the article that the picture went with and here it was an article about her great 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 grandfather so basically she built her great 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 grandfather's fireplace in her kitchen who's talking Some woman company tonight. The only problem, Dave, is that she's gonna come when you're actually going to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyone that wants to make their presence known, can you do, make a noise, talk, scream, whatever. We're only going to be here tonight for a little bit longer. Any of 
the speakeasy people here and make a noise. If you really wanted to kiss Dave and not me, make a knock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, point it forward. <laughs> Any of the women of the night here, make a noise, knock, stomp, yell, whatever. We got a 360 Periscope by uh, Paranologies. Uh, guy makes great equipment, guys. Um, we got the MF1 by Central Texas Paranormal. And we have a rim pod in here. And a ghost box and a FLIR camera. Who's walking around? You notice how they always do that when it's noisy? Yeah. And then when you go to listen, it's very rare you get it just straight up. Well, it's like we were downstairs and we heard it loud and clear. Right. Mm -hmm. Same principle, just the light is the hot and the dark is the cold. Walk over there in front of that fireplace. Hearing movement over there. Yep, it's like floorboards creaking and some tapping. Oh, 
That was me. Who's in here? Anyone? Can you play the um, organ or the piano for us over here? Who's laughing? We really like to see you. Mr. Farnham, John, either either of the Johns, Everett, Mrs. Farnham, whoever wants to talk to us, come out and show yourself. We're here for you to talk with you. Is that you, Mrs. Farnham? Whoever's in this room with us, can you make a knock or any sort of noise to show us that you're here? Are you singing? Yeah, we have plenty of footsteps. Tons of it. Really loud footsteps. Crazy responses, being touched, temperature drops. Yeah, this awesome this uh this place is truly amazing. I wanna play with the children. I'm right here. Let's play ball in this room. Come running in here, I wanna hear you run. kids. What the hell? What was that? EMF? Well, that, us. plus I heard something before that. Let me see how fast you can run. sitting by a big mirror and you know what mirrors are. <laughs> oh. Jeez, Kevin, that's terrible. What happened? Someone, uh, this lady uh, said after our scope before she said her picture fell and she broke her wrist. What, just now? Earlier, yeah. Holy crap. Yeah. She broke it? She already went to the hospital? Yeah. Holy crap, sorry about that. Back to the cemetery. Yeah, it sucks, Kathy. Feel better. Send any you uh, well wishes. And her Padre Pio rosary beads are gone. Hmm. 
Yeah, I hope you heal soon. You want to see if we get a different reaction with you I'll do the by spirit, yourself? I'll do the spirit box, yeah. Right. It's going crazy. Yeah. All of a sudden. That's me. Good night, Raven. What room am I in right now? What room is this called? by the fireplace making, making the EMF go off. Sit next to me on this couch. Come tell me a story. Tell me who, who you are. I don't think there's a ball. There's a ball across the street in every place. Yeah. Sarah Farnham. Tell me about her. The fans in the chat room are saying there's a bunch of shadow play going on right here at the fireplace. Looks like someone's popping their head up and down at you. Really? And then in this window up here, it says it's too hot to be car lights and it's a lot of shadow. And um, Kathleen told me there's been several shadow figures or apparitions captured in pictures on, at these two exact windows. Wow. So that's pretty interesting.
When this was a bordello, can you make it go off? Whoa. <laughs> if you worked at the bordello, can you make it go off? If you frequented frequented the bordello, make it go off. If you were a client, of the yeah, <laughs> make it go off. Ooh, movement over right, there. Something right behind me. Yeah. Whoa! Noise. Footsteps again. Thumps. Someone's really touching me on my face. Whoa. It's like a footstep next to me. Whoa. <laughs> oh There's something all around us for real, man. There was like cracking of the, the floor next to me. There's something. You're next to me. Who are you? You're touching me on my left side of my face. Oh my god. I just saw a freaking... I swear I think I just saw a shadow go, go across the screen. That wasn't me, dude. Look. I don't think it was you. No, look. I'm right there. I'm moving my did hand. You guys, did you guys see a shadow? Because I, I think I just saw a shadow. Seriously. I got to end this scope. Because I want to see if I can catch that. Did you guys see that? Did you see that? Oh... Holy crap, that was loud. Footsteps. There's a, a, all kinds of stuff. Guys, there's all kinds of stuff going on. I'm seeing shadow movement over there. Seeing like a white, misty. I'm going to end it right quick, on. guys. I'll be right back. There's footsteps, there's walking. Boards creaking like someone's walking on them. Dude, I need to watch that right now. I need to look back at that really quick because I, I'm like... I'm moving. Huh. 
And he also reported a small child uh, walking over there and a, and a baby in the corner. Like, there's spirit energy, I think, flying around. I'm looking for the shadow. I swore it was a shadow. And then just flew away where I saw the shadow. something yeah okay cool that's what we got to do though we got to debunk stuff you know what i mean mm -hmm. that's the only right way to do things but we both know what we're seeing and what we're experiencing in here and there's all kind of shadow play or light anomalies going on all kind of crazy stuff Steps we've been hearing upstairs. Whoa. Are you trying to make us hear you? Mm -hmm. 
drawer. We appreciate anything you can do to, to make it noises and show us that you're here. Can you tap that antenna four times for me? Here we go. Beep, 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 beep. Someone tell me if there's a mark here. Is that a yes? Make that go off if he's holding back some of the spirits here. some of the spirits to communicate with us and scaring them, then you need to leave. communicate and have your voice heard. Alright? Can you move one of these chairs? The one I'm looking at right now? Dave in the bathroom. Actually, I'm curious about the thermal right now. Did I miss something? Are you dropping the temperature?
you like to say to me? How is the afterlife where you are? Are you happy? Are you content?
What are you what are you trying to do to me? Who is that? I feel something. Who's doing that? Husband. Husband. Somebody Who is that? Son. Who is that? Who was crucified on the cross? What's his name? Oh, maybe that's the You know who was crucified on the cross? The rim pod? Yeah. Alright, the rim pod's going off. Let me see if I can get a... Uh... I just got touched in my hand while I'm holding the phone. <laughs> what was that? Him? What did it say about the money? I bet that's the old man that had the restaurant. I love this place. Go on my Twitter. Or the Austin at email.com. Farnham, F-A-R-N-A-M is the place. Yes, this is real. Show yourself in front of Sean. I want to see you. Show yourself around me. You're allowed to give me permission to touch me while I'm sitting here. Make a sound of your presence while I'm sitting here. Somehow, some way. <laughs> Alright, there's something really lighter, colder than anything to your left behind the chair where the rim pod is on the left side of that chair get by the 
kind of by the window, so it could be a draft, but that's where the rim pods get in touch. And there's someone standing to the left of me right now. Tell me who you are. They just flashed. You see that? Yeah. The rim pod flashed on command. Hi, what? Say hi, y'all. Hi, how you doing? Who are you? <laughs> My name's Dave. It's an angel. Who's touching my right leg right now? Feels like a little kid, Sean. Hey. Angel, can you press the red pod for us? The antenna right there? Is there a marker in here? Or Isa. Can you connect with Isa? I think. I think. Is there a Harriet here? <coughs> no, that's nothing. The job. Indian. You have an Indian spirit with us? Is there a Tessa here? We want to communicate with whatever spirits is in this home. We mean no harm, we're here to communicate with you. Anything you can do to show us, you let us know. Prove your existence, your voice deserves to be heard. Tell us what happened to you, how you died. Tell, tell us your story. You don't give a fuck? <laughs> Is that what he said? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Why don't you give a fuck? I just felt like, you know, because something was touching my leg, so I'm just kind of scanning. Scary dogs are upstairs. Rampod. Rampod's taking hits again. Yeah, it's again. Let me see if I can move that so the cameras can see you good. Isaac. Who's Isaac. It just said Isaac. Isaac? Uh, Isaac. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. What about her? What about her? What do you want to say? Communicate something to us. There's no need to be scared of us. Whoa. Holy fuck. Did you hear that? Total footsteps, man. We just heard some. We've been hearing footsteps all night in this place. Better go do a battery swap or check or whatever. You ready? You can go back up or you're gonna hang out for a little bit. Yeah, I'm ready. I was just think I'll be just
And that's Everett and his wife. Right there. Who's up here? Check the battery. Oh, lost feed. Figures. You know, we heard the footsteps. And come up here and the damn feeds out. You can see the um, Tim now it's not going off at all when before it was gone. Not <laughs> stop. Yeah, that's why they made you really long. That's weird, you know, when we yeah, when we left. Look, it's fifty-eight degrees now. Catch K A T C H. Is the thing. Oh yeah, we're going for a while. Whoa. A big noise in the bathroom. Anybody in the bathroom? I can actually see the thermal over there on the thermal. Whoever was touching the rim pod, can you go over there and touch it again right now? Stuff possibly. Uh, yes, there's a Charles here. Who's Charles again? Um, I don't remember who they said Charles would. They just asked us. Wasn't that the restaurant guy? That's right. Guys? Don't mind. Walk over there and sit in the wicker chair, please. Show us show us who you are. Can you show yourself to us, please? We heard somebody walking around in here earlier. Are you still here? Who, t who touched that toy and set it off? Go grab it again. Holy crap, man. Something's moving in here with me.
Come on, something to show yourself. Walk in front of this uh, camera right here, this cool light. We can see what you look like if you walk over there by the couch or the wicker chair set in it. <laughs> 